Weapons were scanned to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are advanced. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish to your energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I am your host, David, and joining me tonight, we have the rogue Jedi, Stuart. Not that rogue, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he wants us to think. Rogue one. Um, we have... <laughs> Coming the... out in cinemas 2016. Yeah, we have to... <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we haven't even made it through the intros and we're gone. Yeah, we're, 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 doing, we're doing good. Doing good. This is okay. a new record for us. <laughs> we've got we've got the white little whisper in the background, Amy. Hey, yo. And we have the mech warrior himself, Scarecrow. Good evening, all. And returning for the first time in a while, the former host himself, Mr. Grin. Former host. I'm, I'm, I'm not a host, I'm a fraud. Yeah. He's, <laughs> by former host, I mean he's the host before I tied him up, threw him out the airlock permanently. Wait, <laughs> how did he get back in? But I'm You let back. him in. Damn it. <laughs> uh, you made the mistake of sending one of the red coats out to scrub the residue off the hull and it turned out he's still alive. Uh, well, that happens sometimes. Okay. I was wearing a yellow coat underneath. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we will find Metal Rift out there somewhere. Metal, oh, Rift. Sorry. Metal Rift, we miss you. <laughs> just saying hello. <laughs> we, I, I forgot to mention that, um, just for those who have watched the show regularly, Metal Rift is off doing lots of schoolwork and stuff, so he won't be coming back for a while but if he has a special topic i will let him come back so anyway moving okay. right along tonight on the podcast we have our review of ant-man most of us have seen it um so we're gonna have a bit of a chat about that as well as what has just been announced the usa versus japan giant robot throwdown what are our thoughts on that and that is actually coming up first and we'll be headed by both scarecrow and stewart that's your cue to go, guys. <laughs> I didn't know who was going to start. Well, you're the one who's heading this. Who's got yes, some all right. in? Yep. So yeah, uh, you. Um, uh, so yeah, a uh, couple of uh, a while ago now. It was like a couple of weeks. Yeah, it was like a, what yeah. month ago now? Yeah, it was about a month. Yeah, about a month uh, ago. Um, uh, a challenge was was. Yeah. Wow. Words are just dead. Yeah. So, the so normally it's... big dogs put out the challenge to the Japanese for the mech showdown. Yeah. yeah. Ba- basically, we have giant robots fighting each other. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Yeah. It, Problem. Just, just is... imagine a robot, the robot from the powerlifter from Aliens, with paintball guns punching each other, and you're getting pretty close Not... to what it looks like. Not yeah. quite. Sadly. Yeah. That's similar the, sort of the, size. The American team is <laughs> your standard Americans. They. Their mech looks rather like a, a mad cat on tracks. <laughs> so it can't actually walk anywhere. It's still it does, it does look something like something out of Battletech, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like <laughs> Not so much Battletech, more Mech Warrior. It no, it's about the same Mech Warrior, yeah. yeah. It's more actually... like a mad cat, or it's somewhere between a mad cat and a vulture from Mech Warrior. Yeah. You know, it looks that, like that, that comes from Battletech, though. Yeah, the link that I posted in the chat, it's about a little bit above halfway down. You see both of the you mechs got the next to each other. Yeah. Well, say the cockpit, the cockpit for the American one just looks up. There's been dragged off a bulldozer. Yeah, it's <laughs> absolutely great. <laughs> Whereas yeah, it... the Japanese one is the Japanese so entry is the looking. Karata. It, if you look at it, it really it's does. It's got twin machine guns on its head. I don't care, it wins by default. <laughs> Those are Gatlings. Gatling Same guns. difference. It's like the yeah. prototype, but it's like a cross between a Tachikoma and a Pat level. And a what? Yep, yeah, don't worry, it's a mech war. It's a, sorry, not a mech war thing, a Anime Gundam thing. thing. 
Gundam. anime thing. It's actually not Gundam in any way, shape, or form. Nope. It's Close not. enough. It's a giant robot thing. It's a but... shame we can't space you. Philistine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I am the captain. <laughs> no one can space the captain. Wait. Who are you people? Where did you come from? No! Anything that... No! <laughs> now that he's uh... finally gone. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's looking like it's going to be a good one. Yeah, so um, for those who don't have the link open, I'm just gonna go. We're gonna go through this anyway. Uh, we'll start with the with the Mark II from San Francisco, California, weighing it at twelve thousand pounds. It is gigantic. It's got a it's got a co dual pilot cockpit system, so there are two people driving it. I'm guessing one for the legs and then one for the torso and the weapons. Quite possibly. That makes sense. It's got... Because I have no twin... other idea why it would have that. Yeah, it's got twin tracks from a cat... 289C... Wow, my brain isn't working anymore. Skid steer. Yeah, it's that's because it. misery loves company. <laughs> <laughs> Normally my brain shuts down about five minutes into the podcast. It's like, yeah, by the way, have fun. Boo! It's gone. <laughs> and then these guys just sort of fill up the void. And this week, Stuart's also on the, the totally out of it bandwagon, so... Yeah. So, yeah. so it's its legs are one half and three quarter A thirty six plate steel, laser cut and welded at the seams. That's impressive. Thirteen yeah. degrees of freedom across twenty hydraulic actuators. Wow, that's impressive. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it's got twenty four horsepower Honda gas engine and spinning. Uh, hydraulic... Pa it's got a 24 pump. horsepower Honda gas engine and spinning a hydraulic gear pump, so, quite frankly, punch it in the... in the, uh, hydro... Get, in stick the... a hand in there and rip the hydraulic pipes out and you screw them all up. Pretty much, yeah. Basically. It's got arm cannons. Um, the right well, arm I mean, can fire three... Karada's got... Uh, we're getting the Karada. We're getting too. the Karada. No, we're getting the Karada is mine to yeah, do, yeah. so... Yeah, we're getting oh, to that sorry. one. Um, the, the arm cannons on the Mark II, um, to be perfectly honest, I still think it should have swords, because no robot, no <laughs> robot is complete without swords. So it's irrelevant, <laughs> they never work against other robots, but it should have swords. There um, needs to be swords. Yes, yeah. um, the <laughs> left, uh, the right arm can fire a three pound, six inch, uh, pink cannonballs at 130, 30 miles per hour, which is, what, is that about one, no, that's more than one, that's about two. Right, that's so about 260 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that's uh, a bit less than that, but yeah, close enough. About 240. Um, the left arm has uh, 20 times shot missile launcher firing 1.5 inch, inch circumference paint missiles at 150 miles an hour. In other words, it's pretty much a Zuni rocket launcher with <laughs> yeah. paint instead of explosives. Yeah, that that thing is terrifying, and just looking at it. It's a proto mad it's, cat. It's green yeah. and gold. Why is that not Australian? <laughs> because they ran out of out of American worry, paint. The, the, you can bet worry, your ass that we painted in American yeah, colors. Well, the, the, the time the, yeah. the time the battle comes around, not only will the will they have the American colors on, it'll probably have fireworks coming from behind it in red, white, and blue. And red, white, and blue. And if it doesn't have a ten foot long cape flag, it doesn't count. <laughs> it has to have a. It, it, it makes no. It, I know it makes no sense, but give the robot a cape. It has to be the American flag as a cape. Why? Oh, no other and, reason. And Uncle Sam's hat. <laughs> and Uncle Sam's hat. <laughs> Honestly, this whole thing just kind of looks like a deformed caterpillar. Uh, yeah, it, 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 honestly, it looks horrendous. Yeah, it really does. But it's, so, so glad there was a year, but to get to. Get, to get everything sorted, because I hope it looks better by then. Yeah, Doubtful. but that but that said, it, it looks very much like a lot of other American designs I've seen. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the Karata from Suido Bashi Industries, created by Kogoro Karatas. The Japanese Have... entry is the Karatas. Now, it first was appeared in Tokyo, Japan, in 2012. It's 13.1 foot tall when it's standing, weighs in at a whopping 9,900 pounds. So it's shorter and lighter than the American one. It has a single pilot, so it doesn't need two people to control it. Mm. It's got four wheels mounted to individual legs with 
and each one has 30 hydraulic actuators, or has and 30 hydraulic actuators. So it's more maneuverable straight off the bat than the American one. And it looks badass as shit. Just saying. It, it looks it's as powered by a, <laughs> It's powered by a diesel engine, and they don't tell us how powerful that engine is, but we can easily assume that it's, it's more powerful than, more than, powerful than a 24 horsepower. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, at current, its armaments are twin... BB miniguns shooting 6,000 rounds a minute and water bottles. Now, I'm pretty sure we can safely say that these upgrade that it is going to get severely upgraded weaponry-wise before this combat. Because that was just what it, they stuck well, on. Define upgrade. On, on just on a random note, you can I'm actually order. Sword. You can <laughs> actually order your own karata from Amazon Japan for a measly. One, One million, million dollars. US dollars. Uh, hang on, so, you build your guys, own with your guys, own specs. Guys, I, just so you said own. it the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go, go one, One million dollars. How much would that be in, um... Australian yeah. money? 1.2. It'd be like two million. Yeah, 1.2. No, we're not... It's about 1.2, 1.3. We're not that mm. bad. I was going to say no. at least a billion really? of Australian dollars, but yeah, close enough. No, that's that's uh, Greek. <laughs> so, so the, the Australian no, no. dollar is Shots worth fired. more. Shots fired. No, no, no. The if it's in Greek, worth more than US dollars. No, um, no. We're we're currently trading US at about eighty-five cents per Australian yeah, dollar. Yeah, it'd be about. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. It's about one point two. But by the way, Greeks don't use currency anymore. They use bottle caps. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> does that mean they're fallout? That means they're Fallout. Oh god, I'm fallout never reference. going to Greece. Nope. <laughs> hey, nope. think of, the, you know think of how rich you would be if you game. left here. Yeah, I know. We, we, we don't use bottle caps this. anymore, though. Dude, there's bottle caps everywhere. I work in a warehouse full of damn bottle caps. I'll just take a box with me and I'll be a zillionaire. I'd like okay, to buy your magic. Topic. Yes, anyway. <laughs> 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 to the vault. <laughs> <laughs> so, so my Curatus is $1.8 million. Yeah. One that I built. Wow, that's hilarious and terrifying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm putting, I'm honestly putting my money on the Karatas for one major reason. One, the cockpit is not exposed. Yeah. And two, it's more maneuverable. And three, as it stands right now, it's a spare arm that doesn't actually have the guns mounted to it, has what looks like the beginnings of a pile driver fist. Yeah. Mm. You hit him in the you hit him in the in the groin area on the on the American robot enough times, it's actually going to fall over, clutching its groin with a rocket launcher. Like, it's just a very American the, robot. The pile thing, the pile driver, whatever you want to call it, is it called a pile bunker? It's only fifty thousand dollars. Well, okay, if by any chance that you are a Saudi prince and you happen to have at least <laughs> 90 million zeros after the one in your bank account, can you please buy a couple of these fully maxed out and fight them against each other and video it for us? That would be spectacular. <laughs> oh, they already have, but it's it's in it's in uh, uh, Arabic, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to hear what they're saying, we just want to watch. No, no, we, we, easy, we'll just dub Gundam music over the top with a little bit of El No Zero's talking, and we're done. I can watch you that. Me? There's only one song that has, got, that has to play with this. It is, it is Guile's theme from Street Fighter. The oh. most epic music of all time. <laughs> oh, God. No. Yeah, Amy's right. It should be the fairy music from one of her <laughs> animes. No. <laughs> I, I actually Next. don't know what she wants. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, so... Just final say. What are the votes? Scarecrow, who's going to win? Karata. Amy. The Jet Japan. Japan? <laughs> Japan. The Karata wins again. Stuart. Yeah, I, I, I have to go Japan. Like, it's just, it's, it hasn't, it's not like we don't know what extent to what they're going to do yet. And we also know that both sides are working on a melee weapon, so we don't know what's going to come out of that as well. Yeah. I'm half expecting them. To, I'm half expecting Japan to actually not show up with a Karata and drop a Zaku win on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just expecting a giant flaming sword. Okay, Greg, Zaku what's... with giant flaming sword. I'm, I'm assuming you're voting unanimously with everybody else. Well, there's a caveat. Yep. Are there rules to the fight? 
Yes, yes. but they haven't been really announced. Yeah, that there's much. no details on what the actual fight is, where it's going to be, and what time, yada yada yada. We just know it's sometime next year. Yeah, all as we... far as I know, it's also using the same rules as what the Mark II was designed to yeah. take part in. Yeah, and um, the rules are no projectile weapons, close combat only. So... <laughs> Which is ironic, because um... that's all they have. So... No, it's more... I think they have a damage count based on how many times they get, on how much paint they get hit with. Yeah. And in which which areas? So if you take a huge amount of paint splats on the arms, it's not going to really make much difference. You take anything but on the if you get though. if you take something like one of the big missile, the big round cannon round thing to the cockpit, then it's going to do a lot, to the torso. It's going to do a lot more than otherwise. Yeah. All right. So Grin. So uh, this this is my my. Uh... Caveat: uh, if, if there are rules that are specific, Japan will win. If there are no rules, America will win. Because they play dirty. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> if, if there are no rules, it's not playing dirty. It's just playing. Yeah, n- knowing knowing America, and this is just from past experience. I don't know where. There'll be a second robot hiding somewhere. <laughs> Oh no, there won't just be a second robot hiding somewhere. Just out of nowhere, the Marines will turn up, and then random police officers will race to everybody, and then everyone will go home, and America will go, woohoo, I gave this a robot, and drag it away. And then it'll be a <laughs> DARPA. And before we know it, Terminators. What, why would they do that? Why would they well, spend the... all the money to send these troops and stuff there, which would cost millions? I mean, you could just go to Amazon.com and buy one for a million bucks. It's the American, it's the American <laughs> military. If, if if it involves spending money, they find a way to spend ten thousand times too much. That's <laughs> it's like, why oh, that's going to cost a million dollars. Okay, here's fifty million. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like they, it's like I reckon there was at least one general in America that walked out of the <laughs> Avengers and went, you know what, we really need one of those heli carriers. Here, have about <laughs> half of the military budget, make me one. And they just like I don't even, but it doesn't. Whatever. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, American military spending makes sense. Yeah. Anyway. It'll ever make sense. Yeah. Anyway, if you are part of the American military, we apologize. If we're only messing around. Please don't kill me with a drone. You, you know, all that extra spending, the reason why things are so expensive, it's not because the things are expensive and it's not because of corruption. It's because they need to figure out some way to Spend come up with the money. money. Well, they need a way to come up with the money that they need to spend to make all the UFOs and stuff like that that they're not telling you about. Yeah, well, the, 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 the next Daedalus class is due off the production line in a couple of weeks. No, oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, anyway, it's about time we move on to Ant-Man. Um, so, we who has seen Ant-Man? Me. Me. <laughs> not me. Not me. <laughs> Okay. I saw, so... I saw the previews. Is that good enough? Oh, no nope. parts are in the preview, right? That'll do. Okay, so we'll do a spoiler-free review. And... What? You don't have to. Oh, wait, I guess you do. I guess then, you can. Then a little bit later, we will do the not-so-spoiler-free review. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So, starting off, Stuart, what did you think? Remember, spoiler-free. Small free. I uh, I really really enjoyed it. I I liked it way more than than Avengers two. Nice. Like I I like everything. Like oh my god, the the, the I, I I want to talk about my funniest moment because it's just really really stupid but funny. Yeah. But I can't. But it's just it's it's like yet, anyway. it's the perfect balance of of the action side of things, but a really good com- um comedy side as well. And, just, and then they've kept it similar to the comics as well. Yeah, it's it is do- definitely done really really well. There's some parts I just face palmed with. Oh, <laughs> there's a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> what a lot. Like, like, I like because it. it's punny. Uh, uh you'll stupid. find out. <laughs> very stupid, but very hilarious. Yeah. They do a, they do a really good job. Um, yeah. If you haven't seen it, you really need to watch it. Like it's, I would rate it up there as one of the best of the Marvel movies. And oh yeah. Considering I expected Ant Man to be, Ant Man, um, I was definitely blown away. And Ant Man isn't really known as sort of one of the big the big heroes. 
dude. <laughs> yeah, he's, well, always, he's always second tier. Yeah. No pun intended. I swear. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So, so yeah, it was it was good. It was um it starts sort of it Ugly. started unexpected. It, yeah. See, it started really unexpectedly because I, when I saw it, um, we were watching like previews, and out of nowhere, it just bang, straight, went straight into the movie. Like there was no warning or anything. I just went sh like it cut straight well, into the root. The only yeah. warning I got was the whole fact of do not talk or um, kill your phone and don't talk during the movie. That was it. We didn't even have that come up on the screen. <laughs> We did not get that message. <laughs> we got um, Blinky Bill saying it. <laughs> oh what? yeah, I got the I got the same thing. It's a Blinky Bill. Oh, wh where is this? I need to go see this. Okay, probably it missed come it. Out yet. Okay, really, really quickly, just for those who don't know what a Blinky Bill is, Blinky Bill is a koala-based kids cartoon over here that we all watched growing up. They've recently remade it in yeah. CG, and it looks absolutely catastrophic, and it's destroyed. Everybody's childhood in Australia has been destroyed. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. Um, Wait, but, yeah. people born in Australia, they have a childhood? Mm, well, between yes. between fighting <laughs> off deadly animals and and, drop run bears. and running away from Please? other deadly things. While and, alone. And, <laughs> and hanging from the roof at night so that the, the spiders and snakes can't get you. It's, it's okay, fine. I have, no, I have no problem with the spiders. Oh, spider! I've got no issue with spiders as long as they're not the redbacks or the whitebacks or Me. the golden orb or the <laughs> the, the city funnel Rough web, topic. which we had a few of. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Anyway, back to Ant Man. <laughs> see that, that that's that's see Grin. That is what we call the Amy control. Every time we prattle on, she slaps across the back of the head. And... <laughs> you so, slap. So, we really, we really, really, really. No... It's really effective too. Yeah. So. Anyway, anyone hate snakes? I like snakes. I think they're cool. I like snakes. Uh, but that's I, like, I like snakes as long as they're not the poisonous ones. At which, if they're the poisonous ones, then I go hunting with shovels. <laughs> yeah, the closest I've ever come to a poisonous okay, snake is about two inches, and I like that was turtles. terrifying. I like to... <laughs> Sorry. Back to Ant Man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't like way. ants. Ants yeah. suck. Yeah, that was uh, the way that they used in the, they used the ants in the movie was really oh. cool. You're not crazy. You're really cute and cuddly. Oh God! <laughs> oh. <laughs> one ant, man, and... one ant, crazy ant, zillion crazy ants, and then <laughs> enlarge. <laughs> and then, <pfft. laughs> I wonder how many ant hills he demolished. <laughs> I wonder how many fields there were when I, with Anthony. <laughs> oh yeah, Poor fields. Anthony. That wasn't nice. That was not nice at all. Why'd they have to do that? Yeah. Can I no, slap but, him? But, but seriously, what you are the odds of that shot happening? Of what? The... Shooting a flying ant with a gun. Oh. Uh, That's spoiler. I don't care. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 you're going into spoiler territory now, huh? Yeah, huh? I forgot. What? I think it's time to tune out. Yeah. Steve. Okay. Now to talk, now to actually talk about the movie properly. Yeah, I, 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 it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It won't be out in Japan until like 2016, so you know. Yeah, but I feel sorry for you guys over there. You, you're sort of like well, hey, plan. you're sort of like us. So I said, yeah, you only America... just recently got Avengers two over there. America, yeah. America gets a movie, <laughs> and then maybe six months later we get it, and then maybe six months later you get it. Okay. So. Or if we get it. Yeah. Then again, it goes the point. same way with anime for yeah. Japan to um, English. Speaking of which, really quick, if you are in... Not Australia, anymore. If Country you're, rule. If you're in Australia and America, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, or whatever title they decide to change it to... Is no, I think they're sticking with that. It's going to be out in cinemas in Australia on August the 7th, 8th, 9th, off the top of my head. Mm. Um... For a very limited showing at... Um, is that Event Cinemas? Event Cinemas. I was trying to think what the cinemas were called. Event Cinemas. So, if you yeah, do they want see, to catch they it... Have, they have seen have a deal with, with Mad Men and, yeah. and bring out anime. That's really cool. Specifically so, yeah. Dragon Ball. Yeah. So, if you want to watch it on the big Dragon screen, that's your, that's your chance. They did the same thing with uh, 
No, uh, so early in the year. Gods yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay, Dragon back on topic. Too. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We're getting back to Ant-Man. Okay, now we're <laughs> moving on to the spoilers. I, I don't, haven't made a spoilers button yet, but I will hopefully, once I get some more money, be getting a keyboard that allows me to press a button and it goes, spoilers. Until then, you'll have to put up with me doing it. <laughs> spoilers. Either way, we, we have to suffer, so whatever. <laughs> we always have to suffer. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, moving on to the spoilerized during section of the Ant-Man movie. Okay. Yes. So it starts off... Back... Him in jail. <laughs> okay. Starts off in jail. So here, here's the idea. Uh, I need somebody who's good enough to break into a place so that yeah. I can have and steal him. some so, shit. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> he's expandable. Yeah, the, 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 the premise is that you it's... want to know the funny thing that you like? You just phrase that line reminded me of another movie. Oh God! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the movie starts set in Shield in the Triskelion, um, back in the late eighties. Yeah, um, late eighties. Where they're tr- they're trying to get Ant- Ant-Man at that time is the 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 guy. What's it's the guy's Hank. name? Hank yeah. Pym. It's Hank Pym, and he's going around sort of during the Cold War, disabling Soviet stuff and whatnot with Wasp. Um. And S.H.I.E.L.D. is trying desperately to Iron Man his technology off him. And he's flat out refusing. Um, as a result, he sets up his own company and yeah, starts Pimp his own... Pimp Technologies. Yeah, Pimp Technologies, and then gets a protege, which doesn't sound like Iron Man at all. And then the protege takes over the company and then recreates the formula and recreates well, the suit. It- He's trying to recreate the formula and at the recreate. start, and by the end he has yeah he's got recreated it. it yeah, which and... then lands which then goes in the hands of Hydra yeah because Hydra turns up out of nowhere because of reasons um anyway <laughs> anyway yeah because um, it's Hydra uh, yeah it's it's yeah. really cool they effectively Pim sets up forgotten his name go Scott, to it Scott Lang. Sets up Scott to break into his own house and steal the suit from his safe. And which he does then, in a really awesome way. <laughs> which is spectacular to watch in its own right. And oh, then yeah. and then he gets the suit home and he puts it on and he starts hearing voices and then he shrinks and then a guy hops in a bathtub when he's shrunk and he gets yeah, it, it ends badly. I never, what was his friend's name? I never picked it up. Yeah, I don't know, but he, he, I call him the storyteller because every time he tells a story, it just cuts to that person. Yeah. And it's his voice as they're saying the words, and it looks... And that is brilliant. I love that. Yeah. I um I want to uh, quickly mention, uh, with the um the S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff at the beginning, that we actually see Howard Stark and Peggy Carter. Yeah. Which is which I was not expecting. No. I find that it was... uh, funny that... Um... Hank punched. Um... Well, it wasn't Howard, but it was the um the government guy. Yeah, the yeah, government in guy the mouth. That, which turned out to be Hydra, didn't he? Yes. yes. Yeah. Punched him in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, punched him in I, the I, nose. Yeah, yeah, and then they meet back years later, and it's like, and it's like, how's your time? And it's like, how's your face? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, oh snap. So yeah. And, um, oh, he it, just did. Yeah. <laughs> it's like send him to the hot to the burn unit. <laughs> it, probably the, my my favorite part is when he's trying to learn to use the suit. <laughs> trying to get through the keyhole. He's trying to get through the keyhole. He runs, <laughs> runs down the hall and tries to shriek and just smack straight into the door. Yeah, he's trying to control. For those who haven't watched it, he's trying to control the suit so he can run and jump through a, um. Uh, like the keyhole on the door and then grow again and he misses so many times I think one time he actually hits the metal yeah because <laughs> so I think he hits the wood twice and then the third time he hits the metal and it's just like ow yeah um and it was really well done the um ant foo they called it which is sort of his kung fu fighting style way of shrink down punch him in the haze, face become big again do some oh more... yeah the multiple changes yeah so the shrink yeah. large, shrink large, shrink large. I feel so, sorry yeah, for Falcon. Like, yeah, that <laughs> was great. Hilarious. So, so they, they my question have... is, my my question is, if Falcon's there, where's the rest of them? Yeah. Well, do they so, just leave okay. it behind? 
So, yeah, <laughs> poor Falcon. Just remember, nobody tell Cap. Just remember. Okay. I'll do a bit more deeper explaining. Yeah, it's effectively a heist movie. And that's the thing I love about Marvel, is they're all different types of movies. Thor is fantasy. Um, Captain America is sort of thriller-ish. Um, <laughs> Iron Man is... I honestly have no idea what category to put Iron Man in. I, <laughs> we'll go we'll go sci-fi, just because of his suit. Yeah, we'll go sci-fi. Um, and, sci-fi action, we'll go, that, we'll go with that. Yeah, and... They've all got elements of action, they've all got elements of comedy, but they've all sort of got their own sort of core little side thing, which yeah. sort of keeps them separate to each other but together at the same time. But, well, yeah, so, Scott was sent to go to, meant to be uh, Stark's holding facility. Just yeah, Stark's storage. Hold, hold, holding facility in, up, in upstate New York. And as soon as I said that, I was like, oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> I, I know it's New York, and I, I, I mentioned that one, I was like, he said New York, I know where this is going. <laughs> Shows yeah. that it's not, um, well, it is Stark, uh, but... Yeah, it's not abandoned anymore, it's the new Avengers facility. Yeah. <laughs> so, he rocks up, and he goes small, and just sort of hiding, he's sort of like, yeah, I'm small, he won't possibly see me. I can and see you. It's just like, I can see you. It's like, oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then he, those two fight. At which um, point, and Falcon loses, which makes Hydra incredibly interested in the suit. Yes. Because it begs the question, how did they find out? Yeah. So, they've probably got spies still in it. Yeah, they must say, they have to be someone in there. Yeah. They're Hydra. Chop one head off, two grows back. Um... <laughs> Just the whole point is, I'll bring it back after you finish using it. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah nope. <laughs> That's a little bit impossible. Yeah, considering you blew up the building that it was inside with Imploded, a shrinko. Imploded, actually. No, not yeah, finished with a, with a shrinko explosion. It just sort of went. <laughs> disappeared. Boop. <laughs> Which okay. is basically Which like makes... it's not even, I don't even think it's fair to call that an implosion. No, I think it was like an anti-matter bomb. Yeah, it just it just ended badly for anyone anywhere near it. But yeah, yeah. my my fu- the funniest well, my funniest moment in the movie is the battle. Um and, and um at his at um Scott's kids' place. <laughs> and then they and they just they make a giant Thomas the Tank engine. What about the giant ant? The giant <laughs> ant pet <laughs> dog. <laughs> It becomes a pet, but just just the giant Thomas the Tank Engine just in the middle of its street, and the eyes are moving side to side. Fo- and the cops are just <laughs> staring at it, going, "What the hell is going on?" And probably more, how are we going to explain this to our boss? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I <coughs> they were right there and there. They've probably got a form at this point. It's just like, "Yep, Avengers, close enough." What 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 was destroyed? About a third of a city. <laughs> Send the door to Tony. <laughs> yeah. uh, poor Tony. Poor, poor Tony. Poor, poor <laughs> disgustingly rich Tony. <laughs> Chocolate covered almonds. <laughs> so, but but yeah, yeah. I, just, I just, I lost. Like, I knew the, the train set was in the fire. I just never was expecting a giant Thomas the Tank Engine to come out the screen. I like his little weapons. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are. They are the, uh, the, shrink, the shrinker and the grower. Yeah. He basically, cool. he basically had little, what would you call Shurik- them? I'd call them shurikens. They're effectively yeah. um, shurikens about frisbee size with um, preset scaling <laughs> built into them. So you throw, oh, I think it was a red one made things smaller, but forced them down, <laughs> and a blue one forced them up. I wonder so, what would happen if they hit the little girl with one. <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah. Mind you, I find her doll that she really loves creepy. Oh, that thing was nightmare fuel. <laughs> that was just... Yeah, that was terrifying. And she's like, I love it! And she runs off and the parents are like, I, I, what so... the hell is that? When she said, can I go show my friends? I was so surprised I did not just hear all her friends start screaming from the background. <laughs> was waiting here. Just, a, never... just imagine a bunny, toy little bunny rabbit, like an Easter bunny rabbit, with fangs and the most evil looking stare it is seriously the most terrifying fluffy toy i have seen in a long long time it is genuine nightmare fuel no it and, wasn't pos- it wasn't possible because it had no. um had a pull string and it talked yeah it wasn't possible it was a proper fluffy toy but it was, it was just, just like what the hell 
<laughs> it's like, and that is Waking Nightmare. And that is Waking Nightmares. So, so yeah. I think it's the same about you half the time. Yeah. <laughs> I now, look scary. I watch quite a bit of the Rooster Teeth guys playing Grand Theft Auto and stuff because I'm then it's because it's funny as hell to watch. <laughs> Did that high seed where they're setting it up? Just, yeah. It so felt like those guys setting up a heist. Just because it was destined to fail. Yeah, pretty much. What do you think of their way of getting away? <laughs> the whole <laughs> steal police car. Da, 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 da. Yeah. No, they didn't steal the police car. They, they yeah, they did. It. No, no, they took it as distracted, but they left in the van. Yeah. Yeah, and they crashed the police car. They crashed well, the yeah. police car, they go back to the van, it's like, yeah, I can't believe that actually worked. It's like, well... What was the was the cockroacha? Yeah. How how so very racist and stereotypical. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just I, I heard I'm like oh god. Yeah, that was so bad, but it was so so funny though. But like, yeah. You just watch it and go. Um, I, 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 uh, I, go. How you had the story guy going again at near the end. Yeah. Oh yeah. So <laughs> she heard it. From he heard it from someone else, heard it from someone else, heard it from someone else. And, and person, Stanley. Yeah, and Stanley's a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole question of, um, they go, the only thing that relate to Spidey is they're asking, which superhero are you after? Or oh, Gareth yeah. Powers are you after? No, 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 she, say, she says, we've got a lot of really weird ones coming out of the woodwork since the Avengers. Yeah, we've got, we've got one this that... guy, we've got, we've got this guy that, that climbs on walls, oh. that swings and jumps. And it's like, <laughs> wow, that's not Spider-Man at all. Nope. No, it's Black Panther. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's definitely worth watching. Like, it, very early on, they allude to the Avengers, and they say, well, why don't you call the Avengers in to Avengers. steal this thing? And it's <laughs> like, I don't want them to have this technology. Like, you really think I'm going to call a Stark? Yeah. I've <laughs> managed to keep it out of one Stark's hand. I'm not giving it to another. Yeah. Considering yeah. what he did with Ultron, I don't blame him. <laughs> we don't need another one of that happening. Can, I oh, that he, ma he made up for that one. Can, can you imagine an army of Ultrons running around that are mini? No. Ultrons. Could be worse mixing Ultron with the Transformer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Could you imagine so, uh, a bunch of Ultrons running around being all whiny, like, oh, why are you guys going to be so mean to me? Was that the whole movie? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. What, what we need to do is we need to hit him with the um, empathy gun from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Most powerful we... weapon in the universe. Shall we talk about the post credit scenes? Yeah, sure. There's so, two of them. <laughs> yes, there's two of them. One sets up for an Ant-Man 2... The other one is Civil War. Yeah. The one that sets up for Ant-Man 2, um, one of the things that happens during the movie is during one of the flashbacks showing the Wasp and original Ant-Man and original Wasp is that the original Wasp had to go down super duper small to shrink between molecules in order to disable the nuke, which he succeeds yeah. in doing. Yeah. But so he's got so no way you... of becoming big again and just keeps shrinking down in infinitely. Yeah. Um, which what um which, which which plays into the movie later on obviously it's going to we won't reveal all of the big sort of finales or anything yeah um but as a result that wasp was effectively killed so in the bonus scene at the end um hank it's takes the daughter in and shows her another the... suit oh i i love the design of the other of the of the modern wasp suit like yeah it looks so crisp and beautiful hello mojo we see you how's things oh god it's mojo jojo oh, da, da, da. Mojo, da, da. anyway um so and the, the 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 first scene yeah shows the suit and the suit looks spectacular yeah, like it, like whoever is doing the design, like making all suits, is just it is gorgeous. Like I want, like I can't wait for that suit to suck in cosplayed. It is going oh, to look yeah. amazing. Oh yeah, and it's then so, we it's gonna be so hard. It's gonna be so hard. Yeah, and then you sit in the dark cinema for the next 
what feels like about 40 years, because Marvel yeah. is the, the masters of evil. Oh yeah, ma 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 while, I, while I, and I noticed this in the credits, it actually says thanks to Thomas, Thomas the Tank Engine and friends yeah. in the credits. <laughs> I saw that, I just lost, I lost it again. <laughs> I'm, so, just, I'm oh. so happy that they I put that in. Oh, the Thomas the Tank stuff. That's so great. It's it's like it's like not sure if product placement or hilarious or hilariousness. They had to put that in because, or they had to like borrow and pay for that to pay to use the stuff. Yeah. You don't know. Anyway, um, and then we reach the scene at the very very end, which I think is set during Civil War. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's set just before no. Civil War. No, I. It's either before or during, just because of one of the lines in it. Basically, uh, Captain America and Falcon f find Bucky. It yeah. looks to be some sort of ca car garage, like a like yeah. a captain place. And his and, arm is pinned. Yeah, his arm's pinned on something, and he also looks like he looks really worse for wear. Like he like really his callback gear. Like he looked really ragged. His face just like he looks like he's been on the run from something, which makes me wonder if if he went up against crossbones. Prior, and yeah, got his ass kicked. Yeah, because his arm's damaged. Like, pit, like what the hell is that noise? Sorry, that would be a uh, chip bag ra rustling. Yeah. And out the airlock. Yep. Um, okay, moving right along. <laughs> so yeah, his arm is pinned, but it also looks like a lot. Like this is his metal arm, obviously. It's not his real. Like it's not his real one. But it looks like part of it's missing. Yeah, it definitely does. It, it looks like it's. Almost back to being skin again, which is really weird. Yeah. So I'm wondering, if, I'm wondering if it's like a casing over it or something. Yeah, to sort of cover up that it's not necessarily. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know what flavor the chips are. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what flavor the chips are. He's, we threw, oh, him, we yeah. threw him out the airlock again. He's gone. He, until he stops making chip noises, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, um, and so they're saying this would have been so much easier a week ago, which makes me think this is, e this is either during Civil War and the splits happened, or it's yeah. just, or the splits are just about to happen between Tony and, and um, Captain Cap America. And, they, and he's definitely like, we've got to bring in someone, and, and Falcon's like, I think I know a guy. And then, and then it says Ant-Man will return. Yeah, so, obviously, and we do know... That Ant Man yeah, is yeah. in. Or it's already on set filming. Yeah, exactly. Um, so. so. And yeah. we also know Spidey will be involved somehow. We haven't seen anything yet of him on set, but we know he's involved. Yeah, and I've been messing with my friends who haven't seen it, and I've told them there's a bonus, bonus credit scene if you wait until after the Marvel logo goes mm. away. Yeah. <laughs> Jokes on them, the Marvel logo sits there for like five minutes and then nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just like, it just says M and will return. I'm like, yeah, no, we're done. There's yeah. nothing else. Yeah. So, yeah. But I yeah. I, I, I told, you know, this, the scene I imagined that would I thought would be perfect at the end of this, like for the bonus credit scene with him running along as mini me falling through a vent, getting stuck <laughs> in a spider's web, and seeing the Spidey suit like in the background really out of focus. And having that as the bonus scene at the end, I told them that happens, but you've got to wait for the very end of the movie after the second scene, wait for the Marvel screen to come up, wait for the Marvel screen to go away, and then it plays. So, I'm evil. Very, very evil. It's a, it's a really nice way that, that like, <laughs> like they did it, because it sets up Ant-Man 2, it sets up Wasp, and it sets up Civil War. Like, it was a really yeah. nice way they set everything up. Oh, yeah. It's... it's definitely looks like that's going to be a really good movie but between now and then there is still one more marvel movie and it, i'm not talking fantastic four or x-men or any of those i mean an actual marvel marvel movie what's the one that comes out later this year Stuart? um you're fired uh, you're fired yeah um, i'm pretty sure doesn't doctor strange come out later this year i thought doctor strange was next year because i thought they haven't started filming it yet uh, I'm thinking of something else then. I'm sure there was another one later this year. Uh, let me try and find the Marvel movie timeline. <clears throat> oh wow, there's an actual wiki that has the Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline. Yeah. Because I thought Ant-Man was the end of Phase 2, so... Yeah. 
All I know is these movies play out just like the comics do. You you gotta buy oh, okay. a different comic series enough. to get the uh, next part of this series. You're right. Series. Doctor Strange is next year. Yeah. Yeah, I thought there was another one yeah, later Dead, this Dead, year. Dead, no, Deadpool's the, probably what you think of, which is early next year, but yeah. he won't have anything to do with that. But no, as I said, it's not till next year it's Doctor Strange because I knew because they haven't started filming yet. It's they're going to filming very soon though. Yeah. From what I remember, I, I think it's in the next couple of months they're about to go start filming. No, Black Panther. Black Panther's first appearance is in Civil War. He his standalone film comes afterwards. Yeah, his standalone film is until twenty eighteen. I'm actually looking at it right now. Yeah. Um, so the next one May. is Captain America. On yeah. The next one is Civil War. Very early May. So yeah, I yeah. was wrong. I thought Doctor Strange came out in November this year. No, but it's no, November Strange next year. Yeah. Doctor Strange is And then there's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two comes out uh, May twenty seventeen, and then. The Spider-Man movie comes out in twenty seven in July twenty seventeen. The f- final Thor movie comes out in November twenty seventeen. Oh, twenty seventeen is going to be nuts. Yeah, yeah. As I said, um, Ant Man was the last Marvel Phase two. Now we go into Phase three. Yeah. So, and so, yeah. Phase three, Phase three looks like it's going to kick off with a bang. Oh yeah, it's going to start with effectively Avengers two point five. Yeah, for you guys in Australia and those people in the States, for us in Japan, it's like, what? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh. When's Black Panther? Uh, we 20, just said... 2018. We okay. said that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I woke up very early this morning. <laughs> I've been awake since 3 o'clock. It's now 7 p.m. <laughs> I woke up at 3 for no good reason. I'm always up at 3. I'm for not. no good reason. <laughs> anyway, um, let's jump into the news a little early this week. Oh, we didn't even rate the movie yet. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Speaking of being up too early. Oh, <laughs> oh. Okay. Stuart, out of 10. And uh, why? Uh, out of 10? Um, it's definitely my favorite, so I'm going to go 9. Like, I really, really enjoy it. And I can't wait to go take JD to go see it again. Yep. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Just everything was really nice, and just <clears throat> it's just it was really nicely well done with everything. Like it tied into to the next couple of movies really nicely. Just this, like it it followed the comics of the alternate universe of Scott Lang and um and Hope really well. Um, like it's just really really nicely done. Huh. Amy, um, the Marvel has been good for tying everything in. No matter what, if it's movie or TV, I about eight and a half. Eight and a half. Because they're actually using the daughter. Also. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, I forgot the sto- the daughter in the alternate timeline be- um becomes <laughs> becomes um, stature. Yeah. Yeah. For those who don't know who, the, who that is, basically Scott Lang. Uh, I'm going to go into a bit of spoiler territory again. Scott Lang gets killed off in the comics, and she takes over the suit. Yeah. But this she is, wants to this steal is, it now. Yeah. This is yeah. To be fair, this is when she is 16. So this is where it happened for a while. Yeah. So yeah. she's 16, huh? Yeah. In the movie, she's like what 10 ish at most. What was the birthday for? I can't remember. Oh, uh, it was young. Yeah, six. she was, she was like six, six or something. Yeah, yeah so young, even younger than I thought. For a while, unless they accelerate her growth somehow. No, I was meaning the other daughter. Yeah. Oh, you meant the wasp. Yes. Uh. Oh no, she, we already mentioned wasp. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Mojo. But, but... Yes, we have talked about the Flash TV show, just not <laughs> this week. <laughs> oh no, don't uh, worry. But we'll talk about Flash. So, there is Flash. If you, if you want to see, um. More of our discussions on the Flash talk. Jump onto iTunes. Look for the Save Sci-Fi podcast there. Or if you are on the um, podcast page now, which you are, look for our show reel. And it should be if you just put slash show reel at the top, it should come up, and you should see all our old archived episodes, which aren't yeah, up on iTunes yet. We we all so, love we all like oh, yeah. really love Flash, and I'm really looking forward to season two and the news that came out. With some casting for Flash as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So, yeah. f- for me, Ant Man is definitely, definitely again, Avengers movies to me sit on a bracket slightly different to the standalones. Yeah. Um, so I don't sort of compare them on the same list, but to me, it's definitely top five. 
It's up there as... Oh yeah, it's up there with Guardians and all the others. Oh yeah, it's up there with Guardians, it's up there with the original Iron Man, it's up there with the second Captain America and the second Thor as yeah, def- the best of what Marvel's done so far. Yeah. And yeah, it was it was definitely worth it. Um, oh hell, I'm, I'm probably going to watch that... it again later this week just for the sake of watching it again. So I like the, um, I like the decorated cup thing that comes if you buy the meal. Yeah, the, with the two two straws as the antennas, that was yeah. awesome. <laughs> I, I took one look at that and went, yeah, I can't not buy that. Nope. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Anyway, um, we stuff. want to move on to the news. Let's invite Hawk back in and we'll go on to the news. Oh, do we have to? Yes. Yeah. Fine, I'm adding him back. <laughs> Transporter room, do we have Hawk? Uh... Maybe. A hawk, are you there? Transporter room. Okay, so we don't have a hawk. Anyway, Stuart, <laughs> news. I can't do it, Captain. I just didn't have the power. Mm. Oh, that's a horrible accent. <laughs> it was a horrendous... Oh, God. What did I come back to? <laughs> uh, come back to the news. So we'll kick off the news with um with, with flash casting. Yes, just, just, just because we know Mojo loves it. So, Mojo, this one is for you. Yes, so WWE Hall of Famer Adam Edge Copeland has been cast as Adam, um, Atom Smasher for Season 2 of The Flash. Nice. So I, I was like, me and my friends joked, and it's like, oh, I hope he just, spe- he just needs to spear Barry once, and I'm happy. <laughs> just, just just one spear is all I'm asking. Yeah, and and um, both... Do I want the- to know where you're spearing Barry? So, for, those who, for those who don't know who Adam Smasher is, um, he's um, got Adam's... all sorts of crazy powers. Yeah, and he's, um, he's well, strong well, at his normal size, and even stronger when he grows in yes. his giant form. And he he's... has been known to grow to over fifty feet, but his true limits are unknown. Adam mm. Smasher is also a strong hand-to-hand fighter, having been trained by the Justice Society Wildcat. Justice Society's Wildcat. Yeah, Wildcat. You know what I'd like to see? Wildcat trained Black Net, um, Laura Lance in fighting. You know what I'd like to see? That guy versus the Hulk. Yeah, that would end badly for all involved, including probably any city we nearby. Know, yeah, we all know they, Hulk. That would end badly for the planet, but it would still be awesome to see. We all yeah, know Hulk would win. Goku. Goku lost to Superman. He doesn't have a say in this. <laughs> Uh, uh, they've just that redone it. Goku kicks Superman's ass with his new God mode. No, he doesn't. Not no, in the new, doesn't. not in the new one. He doesn't. He, he still, still gets loses. his ass kicked. He still gets his butt handed to him. Uh, There's no no point in where that battle yeah. ends in yeah. in favor of Goku. Also, um, it has confirmed on Instagram on um, uh, multiple actors in Instagrams that both Arrow and Flash are back filming. They've nice. been. Uh, there were shots with, like every, with the cast and everyone in there, yeah. back set there and looking well, really they've got, awesome. They've got what three primary live action series, an animated series, and a secondary live action series, all going at the same time. So yeah, just... filming <clears throat> is Marvel's like, crazy at the moment. Star- oh, that's DC. Stargate. Oh, DC. Stargate I'm said producers said that it was Im- almost impossible to do two shows at once. They yeah. said they'd never do two shows at the same time again. As soon as SG1 ended, no other Stargate was going to be made until Atlantis ended. Unfortunately, yeah. earlier than it should have. Anyway, not the point. Um, yeah. The point um, is, doing three shows at once? That is cred. Doing five that is, is just ridiculous. Yeah. Doing five <laughs> is just... And when are all, the actors sleeping? And they're all, well, we know, Flash, we know Flash is awesome. But Arrow weaned a bit last season. We hope yeah. with, like, with the new outfit and stuff, it's going to be really good. Supergirl looks really, really good. Oh, it looks spectacular. Can't say anything on Legends of, Tom- of, um, of Tomorrow yet. No, but one thing we can say about Legends of Tomorrow, and this is based on the suit itself, the Atom versus Ant-Man. <laughs> the Atom would probably win. I'm not so sure. He still can't control the suit properly yet, so... Yeah, he could fly in the suit. <laughs> so can Ant-Man, he uses ants. Yeah. Anyway, that's not that's, the point. That's yeah. a discussion <laughs> for another day. We yeah. have news we must get through at some point. 
<laughs> yeah. We've got five minutes left. Yeah, move along to Arrow, and we have some more casting news. Yep. Um, Arrow casts Echo Kellum as Mr. Terrific, and Alexander Calvert as Anarchy. Nice. So yeah, real like, Anarchy is they're, they're building a favorite. really, really good universe. Solid, like, yeah. Credit Solid where credits build. you. Credit where credits you. Marvel is annihilating on the movie level, and it's <laughs> it's okay on the TV level. DC on the movie level is smouldering at best. That's that's pretty horrible at worst. Hopefully that changes next year. Yeah, hopefully um, Batman vs Superman changes that. But yeah, I'm not saying, holding my breath. Pretty much and Suicide but, Squad. But on TV, credit where credit is due, Arrow and Flash are absolutely killing it. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah, like everyone's uh, and like as I said, I'm looking forward to season two of Flash. Just. Wally yeah. West, Zoom, Jay Garrick, Earth 2, like all that stuff is. Uh, oh, fanboy. Yeah. <laughs> fanboy in these coming out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Moving along to X Files. The yes. new X Files. They've released a trailer and a release date. What's the release date? I had it and I've lost it. I'm fine, I know. Green, we've got a news spot. You want to take over the being the news guy? <laughs> Uh, uh, some oh, this just oh, in. Uh, the news guy doesn't have any news. Uh, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it this is new because this hasn't happened for a long time. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, January 2016 is when it comes out. Yes, and we'll definitely be covering that. And oh, we'll, yes, and I'm on that myself. Unfortunately for you guys, we are going to have to watch Fantastic Four. Because we're going to have to cover that on the podcast when it comes yeah. out. So, brace yeah. yourself. Awesome little Star Wars video came out last week. Um, a, a Jedi cosplayer um, had filmed himself uh, with a GoPro, as oh, in like, like what it, like from a Jedi's point of view with a GoPro. So like he's like finding stormtroopers, Tie fighters, walkers, everything. It's just incredible. Yeah. Hold on. Holding on to what? I said right on. Oh. Right sounds on. Pretty, I thought, sounds I thought, pretty good. I thought you said hold on. I'm like, what are we holding on to? What's going on? <laughs> hold yeah. on to whatever you want to hold on to. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Um... Yeah, we got our first look at um, Storm, Quicksilver, and more from X-Men Apocalypse. Entertainment Weekly did a ran a story, and on the title you actually get to see what some of the uh, characters look like. Now I know a lot of people have given Apocalypse slack for his for his outfit. Yeah, he has become the new meme target of the universe. Yeah, that, well, that outfit is pretty. Good. Yeah, but when the cosplayers s- do a better job, you know that you've done a bad yeah. job. That, that being said, though, I am so happy Storm finally has a mohawk. <laughs> yeah, because that is so true to the comics, and Psylocke's outfit looks so. Really, oh, yeah. to the comics. That actually does look good. Credit where credit's due. That does look good. I mean, I, it's not good enough. If they're not all. I mean, okay, this part's good. That part's good. But that part's just horrible. I mean, the main character is going to be Apocalypse, right? Uh, the main bad guy, yes. So I mean, yeah. Well, uh, he's, yeah. You see, you can't mess that up. But they've managed to do just that. Does that really surprise you, though? Oh wait, it's Marvel. But anyway, no, it's Fox, it kind of... not Disney. <laughs> it's Fox Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we've only got a little bit over a minute left, so go. Bye. All. No, no, not no. Go, go, oh, go, no. do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he's uh, already hit the, he's already hit the wall. Yeah. No, I've still got one more piece left. Suicide. Hurry squad. up! Hurry up! What we got, what we got to see yes, of, of Leto's Joker? Yeah, what we got to le- got to see of Leto's Joker looks oh, really yeah. friggin' awesome. Oh yeah, just the way he did it and the, like the subtle hints to everything, uh, especially with like the Batman Superman stuff, like the Robin outfit. It says, "Ha ha, your family's your family's gone." It's like that was a nice little throw off. I'm guessing to Jason Todd. We don't yeah. really know. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's it for the show. I have thrown Stuart out the airlock. He doesn't get to say goodbye because he talked too bloody long. <laughs> um, Grin, do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Scarecrow. See you guys. Amy. Bye, all. See you next time. So, as always, the conversation continues on facebook.com slash save sci-fi. 
uh, sci-fi.com is actually being updated with all of the podcasts. So over the next couple of weeks, we should hopefully be back up to date with the podcast in iTunes and everything. So if you guys want to listen to this rambly crap for multiple times, you can get it off iTunes. I don't know the <laughs> iTunes address. It's not in front of me. And I do not have enough time in five seconds to look it up. So iTunes, just look for Save Sci-Fi Podcast. That'll work. Bye. That'll work. Bye. That'll work. Bye. That'll work. Bye. That'll work.